Honey, what's some of you do? <laughs> what's some of you do? <laughs> it's in snow. It's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, we brought home some new chickens. Um, some just started laying, so they're just old enough to start laying. The other ones, I believe, are nine weeks old. Um, so we're going to go finish getting them set up. Uh, we're going to put some heat lights and stuff in the coops to keep the little ones warm because we have some really cold temperatures coming. Uh, and today, we received our first snow. I like this though. Um, and this little girl was super excited about it being no, but yeah, it's in little clumps right now. Don't think it'll stick around because our temperature just two days ago was in the 70s. I believe it was like 75 or something like that. But anyways, so I'm going to go show you guys what we have set up. Here we go. Okay, double come, baby. Okay, my fishing catch you? Um, what are you got? Honey, what's this? What's this and we're not coming from the sky? What's this? It's snow. <laughs> Honey, the cutie. Alrighty guys, so here are our new little, little chicks. We've got some Easter eggers and they're nine weeks old and then there's two little barred rock ones that are the same age. And then we have five uh, barred, or yeah, barred rocks that just started laying. So we're just getting acclimated to each other. And so we have some starter feed over here and some layer feed over here. So they'll figure it out as long as the little ones get some, get some starter feed. Hi, little babies. Hi. Hi. Yeah, there you go. All right, so in here, we actually have boxes where the eggs roll away, so they come down in here. Um, and then there's feed in that big tube. Fill it up from the top and it goes down to the bottom. So that's a nice thing to have. Just feed there, feed there. We just had this light put in. Um, and then we do have a waterer here, but we did get a um, water uh, thing that's heated. So we're gonna try that out. But this one should be fine underneath the lamp like that, but wanted to keep it nice and warm in here. So yeah, yeah, so the little ones can't reach that one. So I'm gonna get out so they can figure out that this one has speed in it as well. So right now, which, there are a bunch of chicks in here. Some of these are going to my sister-in-law, so we're just keeping it in, in here until they're a little acclimated. And then in the other coop, we have all of our hens that we had originally, all of our Rhode Island Reds. Hi. Hi. But yeah, so what I did out here Sorry, this generator might be a little loud, but I have to go get some zip ties yet. I want to zip tie this roll here to this post. But what we're doing right now is just leaving the snow fence up so the birds can get acclimated with each other without being with each other yet until for, for a few weeks um, so they don't peck on each other. So we want to really just get them acclimated to each other before we put them together. So that's the goal. And uh, we're gonna see how it goes. But we just have this little area. It's like pretty long run right here for the new chicks and the chickens. And then the other chickens have a pretty, pretty big area. It goes all the way down to the compost pile. And so yeah, but it is snowing. I uh, built a fire, so we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. And uh, we're gonna spend the rest of the day probably inside because as pretty as it is, 
I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of the cold, but I still have things growing. Swiss charge doing great. Still have a few beets, um, stuff like that. And the cover crop had enough warm days to come up. So that made me really excited. So I'm glad this is up. I was pretty sparse in this area right here, but this looks really good. And still need to take the pepper plants out, but it's looking good. We just need to do compost yet. Then we're done for the year until the beginning of the year. I do want to harvest these calendula yet before they all go to seed. But anyways, new chickens are home. Hopefully if they're happy. Yeah, we had a hard time finding chicks or chickens for that matter. Couldn't get our hands on any that are laying or ready to lay. So we drove quite, we drove a little ways to go get these new chickens. But yeah, so I'm gonna go grab zip ties yet and finish my fence just to make sure they don't get to each other before we're ready for them to get to each other. So anyways, hope you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.